This week we explored the beautiful coastal city of Khan. If you're new to our channel, we're Allie and Holly, and for the last 10 months we've been going on adventures around the UAE. We'd love it if you'd join us on our travels. Please hit that subscribe button to get your one-way ticket with us. Hey everyone, today we're in Khorfa Khan. Our first stop of the day is at the Al Rafisa Dam. Khorfa Khan is located along the Gulf of Oman in the Emirate of Sharjah. You have a bunch of different sitting areas that you can sit and enjoy the views of the dam. There's also a place where you can rent kayaks or paddle boats and you can take them out and explore the dam a little bit further. They have a kids play area, they also have a restaurant, but because it's Ramadan right now all of the restaurants are closed until the sun sets. Holly saw some ducks already and she's insisting that we go down. I'll just uh, go back up to the car and let Holly get the ducks. I think that's what makes me the most excited when I go somewhere and I see animals. So as soon as we came to the dam, the first thing I saw were the ducks and I wanted to go see them. Here are the ducks. So we're on our way to Khorfa Khan and in fact we can just about see the city right in the distance. Just before we entered Khorfa Khan we came across this place called Najat al Maksar. It's supposed to be a fort. We thought it'd be a good idea to stop, check it out and see what's there. Is that in? Yeah, the gate's locked so. We'll have to go this way. It's a maze getting up. Are you ready to cross this? Yeah. Let you go first. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, <laughs> I don't Nearly at the top. This door right here is open. We finally made it to the top. Guess what? The door's locked. But that's okay. Our luck finally ran out. Yeah, it's alright. The shade feels nice because there's a breeze. And the views are really nice. I can see Khorfa Khan city center. I can, I think I can see water. And of course the mountains are everywhere. So we came all the way from there to this series of alleyways. I find it one at the top. Now we're leaving to go to Khorfa Khan Square to see the fountains. So right across the street from the hotel is Ali's favorite restaurant, KFC, followed by his second favorite restaurant, Pizza Hut. So we were just driving on the Corniche and the first thing that caught our eye was the amphitheater. It looks like someone's done a whole Roman remodel of what an amphitheater looks like. It's pretty cool. Can you go stand to give us some perspective? Yeah. <laughs> so that's Holly, a normal sized human. <laughs> and that's the doorway. Yeah. 
if you could see one band or one artist perform here, who would it be? From any era. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson and Korfa Khan. Yeah. We just checked out the amphitheater and now we are walking towards the waterfall. It's right at the backside of the amphitheater. Standing in front of the waterfall feels so good. I really just wanted to jump in and uh, just take a little swim underneath the waterfall. <laughs> so that's the amphitheater and the waterfall done. Next stop. <laughs> We're going to go to Al Rabi Tower. They have a really nice lookout point so you can see all of the views of the sea and the mountains from the top of the tower. Sounds good, man. We just found this park and we parked our car here and we're gonna go in and hopefully get some nice shots of the fountains. Behind me is Corfacan Square. In the middle of the square is a giant incense burner. And on all four corners of the roundabout, there are giant fountains. We're just finishing up with Corfu Khan Square. Thought I lost my drone there for a minute. I was so scared, I half expected it to come crashing out of the sky. But it turned out to be all right. Now we're gonna be heading to that building over there. It's called Corfu Khan Monument. No, it's called the Resistance Monument. It's called the Resistance Monument. This is the Resistance Monument. In the 15th century, the Portuguese tried invading Corfu Khan, but the people withheld their defenses. As a result, they built this to showcase their hard work and determination to be free. Monument, you can get really nice views of the city of Corfa Khan. Our last of the day is Rabi Tower. Behind me is the monument. Al Rabi Tower is one of the main watchtowers in Corfa Khan. It was built in 1915. The views from Al Rabi Tower are absolutely amazing. You can see all of the city of Corfu Khan. Right in the distance, you can see the Corfu Khan port. You can also see the beach and the city. If you park at Al Rabi Tower, then you can take the mountain trail. The path looks pretty well marked. I think it takes about an hour and a half to get to the top and then about an hour to get back down. We've had a really fun day exploring Corfu Khan and the best thing is we ended up at Al Rabi Tower and the views from here are absolutely amazing. Our plan for tomorrow is to go to the beach and check out the Corniche and then on our way home we want to go to Wadi Shi's Park. This is like a temple run. <laughs> Man, I swear these steps are getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Ali's heading back to the car. I go high, Holly goes low. Ah. This is the resistance monument built This is the resistance monument. It was built as a celebrate to the We're gonna go to the She's no, Park. Al She's Park. Not cheese. Not cheese.